Hey everyone, I'm Holly from Hand Printed and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do gum arabic transfer or it's sometimes called paper lithography. So gum arabic transfer is a way of transferring a printed image, a photographic image onto paper using ink. We are going to need a black image printed onto just ordinary photocopy paper. It needs to be a laser printer or a laser photocopy, so it's a carbon copy not an inkjet. An inkjet isn't going to work for this. So I need some of those. The ink I'm going to be using is Hawthorne. Now this technique is quite specific with the ink. Um, it doesn't work with all of them. So this is the one that we found works really well. I know Sue Brown, who does this technique a lot, uses this ink with great success. Go check out her work. It's fantastic. So I'm going to be using Hawthorne ink. I'm going to be mixing it with a little bit of linseed oil. I've just got some boiled linseed oil here from the um, DIY shop. And you're going to need some gum arabic now we have the gum arabic the inks and all sorts of other sundries that we're going to be using today on the website handprinted.co.uk so head over there and take a look we also have this project written down as a blog post so if you head over to our blog and search for gum arabic transfer you'll find this there you'll find all the steps for this technique because there are quite a few steps so you might want to go back and take a look so the first thing that i'm going to do is prepare my ink i'm going to mix together a green using some of this Hawthorne Stay Open ink in turquoise, a little of that, and a little in process yellow, but you can use whatever colours you like. The colours behave a little differently, so some shades might work better than others. Now we have our mixed shade, I need to slacken it with a little bit of linseed oil. So this is the linseed oil I have here, which is just from B&Q. And I'm just going to take a pipette and do a few drops. So that was six drops in there. Let's see how that goes and we can always add more. And you'll, you may need to add different amounts of oil depending on the colour that you have, because sometimes they have different consistencies. But once you've done this a few times, you'll get a feel for it. And as, as with lots of techniques, there's a lot of trial and error. So just have a go, test it out. I'm gonna add a few more drops. three more drops in there and now this is really slackening off. You need it to be quite loose but not runny. Okay so I think I'm happy with that but I can always go back and amend if it doesn't work exactly how I'd like. Okay so for the next part I want to have the different stages laid out for me on my table so I can go directly from one to the other without faffing about. So I'm going to move my ink over to one side and then I want to have a piece of grease proof paper, a foam brush, again we have these on the website they're really handy with my gum arabic solution and then to the other side I'm just going to have um, an old magazine. I've got my photocopy here so this is just a, a digital drawing that has been printed out as a laser copy so I've got my image in black and that is the area that I want the ink to stick to. So I'm going to place it down on some grease proof paper, add a little gum arabic and use my foam brush to brush all over, turn the image over, a little more gum arabic to the front and brush it all over. I want this to resist the ink. So now I can head back to my ink and using a Hawthorne inking roller or a three inch roller, you want something nice and soft for this technique. So these rollers work perfectly. And now I want to use my magazine page. I'm going to place my image on there and roll the ink over the top. You 
you want to add light layers to your page and go from the center of the paper outwards because we don't want the paper to roll around the roller. Now what we want to happen here is for the ink to stick to the black areas where I've got my image and not stick to my white paper. You can see I've got some ink around my white paper but not a heavy layer. I'm now going to take this over to the sink where I've got a tray set up and I'm going to spray it with water. What I'm trying to do is remove all the excess ink from the white areas here and leave it just stuck onto the black. So you can spray all over, but target the white paper. I've got a sheet of Snowden paper here. You can use all sorts of different papers. This works particularly well straight into sketchbooks too. So this is a great technique for that. I've laid my inked up photocopy face down on the paper. Now I want a piece of blotting paper on top or something similar, some grease proof paper. I'm going to go over the whole image with a baron. You could also use a wooden spoon. So here I've got my finished image. It's a little patchy, could probably do with a little bit more ink there. I've got a little bit of pale green in the background, not too much. To go back and do another one, you'll need a new sheet of paper. You'll need a new print to work from. As you can see, it's the ink that transfers to the paper, not any of the black ink. So that means that you can print with whatever colors you like. You can really be experimental with it, use it as part of mixed media. There's all sorts of things that you can do with it. This is just a very simple example. You can get the Hawthorne Stay Open inks, the Gum Arabic solution, and all sorts of other materials and equipment on our website, handprinted.co.uk. There are instructions for this technique on our blog as well, if you'd like to see a written version with all the separate steps. We'd love for you to have a go with this technique at home. We'd love to see what you make. Happy printing.